This is code.org. Let's talk about if statements, or as programmers know them, conditional statements. I'm going to head to control and draw one out. Um, right here, I just have a title, a single button, and a text output. But first, let's see what these do. I'm going to use if, I don't know, 5 is greater than 8, right? So this is a Boolean expression. Now, is 5 greater than 8? No, that is false. But let's go ahead and do a council log statement. And I'll say, I just ran. Boom. And let me hit run. <gasps> Nothing printed. Why? Huh? Well, maybe. Let's see if it's even working. Start. And then at the end of this, I'm going to put, shockingly, end. Let's try it again. Oh, yeah, it's working. But why isn't this part of it running? Well, because this is false. An if statement is just looking at something if it is true or false. 5 is not greater than 8, so this will never run. Now, if I make this 15, boom, boom, I just ran, right? Because if this is true, whatever is in here is true, the computer will drop down, run this code, and then keep going. If it's false, right, if this is 99, 99 is not smaller than 15, if this is false, it will never run the code inside. It just sees this, says, nope, that's false, and then keeps going and prints the word end, okay? So, and we can do this with a whole bunch of things. Maybe I don't want to do it with that. Maybe I'm going to use the double equals, which just means equal. And I'm going to say, hello. And then I'm going to say, hello. Okay. So now I'm asking the computer, hey, computer, is this equal to that? Yep. Yep, it is. They're equal. I just ran, right? So what happens if I, I don't know, I delete the H or I have a lowercase H? Nope. Start and doesn't run. Okay. So those, that's the super basics. Let's try an else now. Click else is default. If this is not true, else it has to run. So for that, I'm going to use another console log and show you what I mean. Okay, so I'm going to say if was true, comma, cool. I can't spell cool apparently. And then I'm going to say else happened. And I'm going to put a weird arrow thing because I'm weird. All right. Now, let's see. Reset, run. Hmm. Notice, if was true, cool, did not print. We have start, we have end, but we only have else happen. Else is what occurs as long as this isn't true. So, if this is true, well, let's test. Right? Hello is equal to hello. Boom. If was true, cool. Notice else happen didn't print this time. So, if you have an else one of these must run, either this statement or this. It could never, ever be both. They both can never be true, right? So it's either this is true and this happens, then it's done and runs the rest of the code beneath it, right? Start and end still happens. It was true happens, but it skips the else because this was true. But if it is false, and we can go back to math things, right? Uh, if 99 is not greater than 500, 500, 555, if it is false, this is not run, and just that runs. Now let's do one more of these, and that's an else if. So now it has three options. I'm going to say first, if 8 is greater than 555, okay? If that's not true, then I want to do, I, I could do anything here, but I'm going to say, okay, well, is 8 less than 12, okay? And now I'll change this to else if happen. And then I'm going to throw down in here just an else. Else. Okay, let's see what happens here. I'm going to get reset and run. Boom. Start else if happened. So what happens? It's the same thing. Only one of these items can be true. So, well, more than one can be true. But 8 is not greater than 155. If was true does not happen. So print start. Okay, and we can watch it go through. Boom, starts printed. Eight is greater than one. Eight is less than 12. This is printed. Since this is false, eight is greater than one than 555. This is false. This will never print. And then we'll look at the next item. Else if eight is less than 12. The computer will say true. Yep, eight is less than 12. It prints this. It will never look at the else now because something was true and it keeps going. So only one of these happens and it's done. What if I did something like this? 99 is greater than one. 
99 is greater than 55. What's going to happen? Oh, I want to speed that up now. Boom. It was true. Cool. It never printed. 99 is not. Oh, wait. Let's do 55 and 99. It was true. Cool. It doesn't print out else if happened. Even though this is true, right? 55 is less than 99. That is a true statement. However, this first statement, 99 is greater than 1, is true. So this is what runs. Whatever is true, it says, cool, that's true. It runs this and it's done. It doesn't matter if this is true, this is true. It doesn't matter. Once it runs this, over with the if and runs below it. So I could have all, right, almost the same thing. I just flipped them or 10 or it doesn't matter. It's never even going to see this because this top one was true. Now, how you can use this real quick with like a button and stuff, I'm going to go ahead and just real quick to show you do a variable uh, count is equal to zero. And then I'll throw up a non event. And so on the event that my, what did I call my button? Click button is clicked. I'll do count is equal to count plus one, right? And now what I can do is something like this. I can get rid of these. I will say if uh, count is greater than uh, two, and now maybe I'll do, whoop, not what I wanted. Just need this guy out of there. And then maybe I'll do, say if count is greater than five, and then else is the thing that happens at all other times. So I'm gonna actually change the background color I'm thinking. Uh, set property, yep. Screen one, which I should have renamed. Background color, uh, sure. This time it will be red. And then for, if it's greater than five, let's make it green. And else, at all other times, I don't know, I'm going to make it white. So it won't be black the second I hit run. Because the second I hit run, oh no, it will be black until I click the button. So run. Right now it's black. Okay. But on the event that I click the button, and I'm going to put count here in my variable just to track it. Okay. Counts equal to zero, like I said. Now I'm going to click this button, and it's going to say button is clicked. Count is equal to count plus one. Well, count used to be zero, so zero plus one is one. Now it says if counts greater than two. Counts not greater than two. So it says else if counts greater than five. Counts not greater than five. And then it makes the background white. Click. Back count is two now. Okay, is two greater than two? Nope, but watch now. Boom, three. Now the background's red. Three is greater than two. True. Now let's get to five. Uh-oh, why is this not working? I'm at six. Because, or seven, seven's greater than two. My background is red. It never sees the rest. So you got to be careful when making statements like this that you do the uh, most unique, you could think of it as, one first. Now let's try it. Boom, right? Green, and I could switch these colors, but let's see if I can make it red now. So each one does give you a different color. And that's if statements. Pretty powerful.